I'm huge on the power of personal choice and responsibility for choices and practice the pause before you make a choice because every choice has a reaction. Hi everyone, happy Sunday, vlogist day number 13. I come to you today with my little Baxter with his little gray face, all 10 years of himself. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to come on really quick to do my vlog commitment. I want to talk about choices. So you know that my channel name is The Choice Factor and there's a reason for that, which is that I am all about choice. I talk about choice all the time. I raise my kids with my choice philosophy. Uh, my license plate has something to do with choice. I'm just all about choice because I believe very strongly that it can be a foundational thing for us. And choice, choice involves everything, everything. And from choices come other choices. You know, we make foundational choices upon which other choices are based. And it just goes on and on and on. I believe in the power of personal choice and that we all have that power within ourselves to make personal choices. I believe in the responsibility of our personal choices. We have to be personally 100% responsible for the choices we make. And lastly, and just as important as the others, is that for every choice, there is a reaction. It could be a positive reaction or a negative reaction. Rarely is it just neutral. There's always something good or bad that comes out of every choice. And it may happen in the future. It may happen immediately. You never know. But if we live our lives knowing that we have that power inside of ourselves to make a choice and we own the choices and we practice the pause before we make a choice, I think it helps us to live better. I know I have to tell myself this all the time because we're bombarded by choices, right? I don't always make good choices. I make bad choices because I'm human and we all do. Thank God literally for forgiveness and for grace. But I just think if we just sit back and we think about the fact that we do have control and we can make choices that help us in our journeys, we would be so much more empowered on the regular. And I'm talking to myself too. I'll say things to myself that, you know, well, I don't think I can or, oh, this, this, I just can't or it's like, no, that that's a choice that I'm making to talk to myself that way. And on my cover, my YouTube channel cover, one day I was thinking about this. It was, it was while I was YouTubing actually, and I was hearing a lot of people just feeling kind of defeated and, and myself as well. And I came up with this little thing uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and read to you. It's on my channel cover art. And that's the choice factor of self-talk because I believe the reason why I say choice factor is there's so many different factors in choice you know there's choice of, of faith there's choice of what you want to eat there's choice in where you want to live there's choice in what you want to do for a living you know choice in who you want to be with all kinds of things so there is a choice factor of self-talk truth as human beings we are blessed with the power to make personal choices of the myriad choices continuously before us, the most powerful, and that over which nobody else has control, is the choice to manage our own thoughts. Think about that. Nobody has control over your thoughts. There, there's control over things, yes, but over your own personal thoughts, you control that. We have the power to control that. That's powerful. So then, with that truth, there's the action when a thought enters your mind that has the potential of being negative and defeating, choose to capture it immediately and change it before it becomes bigger than just a fleeting thought. You know, the Bible talks about, you know, capture, capture your thoughts, take them captive and change them if need be so we don't go down that dark tunnel spiral, which I sometimes talk about, you know, spiraling down into that dark tunnel. I have to stop and pull myself out of it and say, Debbie, no, 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 don't go there. You know what happens when you go into that negative self-talk mantra. It's just, it's just all bad. So I try to capture that thought as it's happening 
and change it and turn it into something positive or take my focus off of me and put it onto somebody else. Go help somebody. Go lift somebody up and get the negative self-talk and the ne negative thinking onto yourself. Let go of it, shed it, and go focus on something else or someone else. So that's my little Sunday nugget. <laughs> but no, I'm huge on the power of personal choice and responsibility for choices and practice the pause before you make a choice because every choice has a reaction. So have a beautiful Sunday, a blessed Sunday, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.